Hey, hey, did you ever ride a horse? Well, I have Harry the horse here today. He's my little buddy. And, and Harry the horse and I have that question for you. Did you ever ride a horse? Some of you have and maybe some of you haven't. Now horses like Harry are usually fairly tall. Well, they're a little larger than I am when I'm standing next to a horse. I'd have to work to get up onto that horse. So when I get up on a horse, what do I have to lift up? Well, my legs, that's right. When you get onto a horse, first you have to take the one leg and put it up over the horse's back. So one leg needs to go over the horse first. So you have to lift your leg up. <laughs> Did you ever hear the phrase, a leg up? Maybe you have. There are two meanings associated with this phrase, a leg up. One meaning is where you have an advantage in a situation or over another person. For instance, one business might say, you know, we have a leg up on the competition because we got that TV commercial out about our product first. They have a leg up. Or if I were playing baseball, I could say, I knew that I had a leg up on the pitcher when I saw that he was struggling to throw me a fastball. I had an advantage. I could see that he was struggling and I knew I could hit that ball, so I had a leg up. The other meaning for the phrase a leg up references receiving help or assistance from someone. The kind of help when someone could provide a knee for me to put my foot on or a crossed hand as a support for me to place my foot on to get higher, like in mounting a horse or climbing over something, you know, offering that hand for someone to get a leg up. So we could say, you know what, I gave him a leg up and soon he was able to get on that horse. Or if I needed help, I could say to you, could I please have a leg up? Could you offer me assistance? Or almost like saying, could you offer me a hand? But using the word leg instead. It is good to receive help from others when we need it, isn't it? The Bible encourages us to be kind to each other and to help each other. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Encourage one another with the hope you have. Build each other up. In fact, I know that's what you're doing, the Apostle Paul wrote. So he could almost have said, lift each other up or give each other a leg up. Well, are you the kind of a person who offers to help someone when you see that they may need assistance or when they need a leg up? I hope so. For we should be that kind of people, willing to offer help. Galatians 6.2 says, Carry one another's heavy loads. If you do, you will fulfill the law of Christ. So, when we help others, when we offer others a leg up, we are honoring Jesus. Well, I want to be that kind of person, and I hope that you do too. So I wish for you a leg up kind of a day. If you see someone who needs assistance, offer them a leg up. And if you need assistance, ask someone to help you to give you a leg up. Well, have a great day, a day filled with joy and a day filled with peace.